What do you think? It's... shorter than usual. That's what happens after a haircut, silly! I could have cut your hair! We need to be careful about our spending. We're deep in the red, Erica. Oh, we'll figure something out, Anise. Don't worry. Besides, I have some good news. Did you find $20 on the sidewalk? I chatted a lot with the lady who cut my hair, and we really hit it off. I didn't realize until the drive home that making friends is a lot harder than it used to be. It's called being in your 30s. Anyway, her name's Susan, and she knows all about businesses and finances. She's working on getting her CPA license. She'll give you a free consultation then? Yep. I'm going to meet up with her tonight for drinks. Oh, I am so excited! Here are the pie charts you told me to bring. And the financials. And the office supply inventory. Okay, let's see here. What? You're spending how much on L food? It says 70%. I did things in percentages because that's what the internet told me to do. Yeah, that's good. Real good. But the part about the L food? Bad. Very bad. So what are you suggesting here exactly? The owl lives there, right? Right. And was living there before you moved in? Correct. So, I think you could probably cut it down to like 30%, or even 20 If you say so. I trust you, Susan. <laughs> What's the matter, Erica? I just noticed the tattoo on your shoulder. Oh, this thing? Yeah, that was a mistake. It's the symbol for the anti-safety brigade. Were you a member? Yeah. But that was a long time ago. Sorry, I'm not feeling well. Erica! Hey, wait! I shouldn't have come. And you just... left her there. I didn't feel comfortable being around her anymore. She used to be a member of the Anti-Safety Brigade. Even if the Brigade isn't around anymore, it's just... If she's the type that would join the Brigade, what does that say about her as a person? What you're really asking is, can you be friends with someone who was once a member? What would you do? All I'll say is that someone involved with the Anti-Safety Brigade is against everything I stand for as a safety advocate. But that's just me. This is about you. I'm sure she wasn't a leader or someone high up like Nathan Montague. I could never forgive someone like that. But listen, Erica. We've both had different experiences with the Brigade, and our reactions and the possibility of ending a potential friendship, for instance, draws on those experiences. Susan's just so nice. And she's already helped me so much with our budget. Be careful with that train of thought, Erica. Just because someone is nice to you specifically doesn't make them a good person. But it's pretty obvious no matter where you stand ethically that you consider yourself a good person. Evil people that call themselves evil are generally reserved for Saturday morning cartoons made to sell toys. What you need to do is surround yourself with like-minded individuals. If you are genuinely good, you generally attract good people. Yet you can't sell yourself short either. You shouldn't force friendships that aren't meant to be. I think what it all comes down to is, can I forgive Susan's association with the Anti-Safety Brigade? It always comes down to forgiveness in relationships. It's said that there are always two options. Forgive or forget. Or, not and. So, let's say Susan watched someone cut seatbelts and didn't do anything to stop them. Can you forgive that? 
or forget it for the sake of the friendship. Then you need to ask yourself, what if Susan was the one cutting the seatbelts? Again, can you forgive that or forget it? Let me say this though, a lot of horrible people were in the anti-safety brigade. But there were others that may have not seen the full picture or had different interpretation of their goals. People like Coker. People who could potentially find redemption. Then it's settled. I'm going to call Susan and see if we can go out again. I'll ask her about her time in the brigade. She may not want to talk about it. You shouldn't press her. It might be just as uncomfortable to her as it is for you. Then how can I decide if I want her to be my friend? The truth may come out eventually. Or it may never come out at all. You have to make peace with that fact. This is your friendship. You control its fate. Thanks, Anise, for helping me with this. I can't remember the last time you big sister talked to me. You know, it's ironic. When we were growing up, and all throughout my life, I felt like I always had more friends than you. But I've come to realize all my friendships were shallow and meaningless. Erica. What I'm trying to say is, I used to feel sorry for you. But I should have saved that pity for myself. I'm really envious of you and Jim. He would do anything for you, I just know it. And I really hope that one day, I can have a person like that in my life. Maybe you already do. Or maybe my search will never end. Maybe some of us are just luckier than others at finding true friends. I want to apologize for running out on you the other night, Susan. No, it's cool. I'm used to it. I know my anti-safety tattoo offended you. It's just that my sister and I had a really bad experience with them. They kidnapped me and I was their prisoner for over a month. But I got lucky and escaped. My god. I, I had nothing to do with that, Erica. Believe me, I never even met Nathan Montague. But still, you joined. I was in a tough spot, that's all I'm gonna say. I hated myself. Susan, no, you don't have to. I, I won't, but I finally came to my senses after Nathan got arrested and the brigade disbanded. I started my life over, Erica. I'm no longer the person I was before. I want to believe you, Susan. This is my life, and I don't care about your approval. We're both adults, and if you don't want to be friends, just say so. <sighs> but let me say this. I keep this tattoo as a reminder of my past. A period where my life spiraled out of control and what I had to do to get it back. I didn't kill anyone, but I did do things I'm not proud of, and I'm working on making up for it all. Shit, I'm only human, right? What else can I do? Look, thanks for the invite, but I gotta go back to work. Susan, wait! I do want to be friends, I really do. The world is lonely enough as it is. I'd hate to add to that. Erica. I'll be your friend, Susan. <laughs> I'll be your friend. <laughs>